Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. Today I want to show you one of my favorite tools for installing doors. So this is not going to be one of the most essential tools, like say a drill and a level, but it's definitely one of those tools that makes installing doors so easy, especially heavy doors. Now this is just a garage door, so it's, you know, got foam inside, it's light, but it's still going to make this job a lot easier. And I also want to say this is not an ad. It wasn't sent to me by the company. I just want to provide you guys with a tool that might make your lives easier. I also know that most of you guys that are actually professionals are already going to know what this tool is and already have it. Um, it is the wind bag. So I had a viewer send me a couple of these maybe about six months ago. I want to say a big thanks for sending those out. I have used them a bunch, especially when installing doors. There's tons of uses for these. I'll let you guys do the research yourself. You can go watch the videos and see all the things that these are useful for. Today, I'm just using it for installing this door. So first off, I gotta get this door into the opening and open it up. So uh, that's gonna be a little bit of its own struggle. And hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see it. Hopefully the camera's in the right spot and that I can even open the door when I get this in place. Uh, this is again one of those houses with like a three-quarter of an inch out of plum opening. <laughs> oh. ah. Ah. This is where I don't want the door hitting the floor, so we're gonna put this little thing down here. Phone calls always, huh? So let's just get right into what this little tool is. So it's a vinyl bag with a pump. And as you can see, I can just step on it right here. Fills with air. And the door starts to move over closer to plumb. So in the past, what I've often done is I've propped up doors with shims and done all kinds of things. I mean, it's pretty clear that this thing's a real benefit. And if you want to lower it a little bit, you just press this other thing right here and that releases it a little bit. So it's really easy to manipulate. It's really strong. I mean, I've seen people lift appliances up with it. Like, like I said, check out the videos. Anyways, I got to get to um, trying to install this door into this opening that looks too small, which is where the little persuasive blocks come in. Nope. Not going to be persuaded, huh? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think the benefits to this tool are pretty obvious. Uh, let's carry on with the video and maybe just I'll show you some tips for installing doors, especially an exterior one. So, um, you want an easy place, quick easy place to um, hide the screws. Gently pull out the weather stripping. And so it's already right where I want it. I'm now going to put this screw right here. When that weather stripping goes back in, it's going to hide the screw. You're never going to see it. Okay, now comes the part where I can really show how this thing shines. So as we can see, this needs to come out a bunch. You can see it just by the wall right here. And as I'm sure you guessed, all you have to do is just step on it, you know, until you get it right where you want it. So we are almost there, right about there. Looks just right with the wall. Let's see how it is for level. It could come out a little more. I'm not gonna go much though. I'm gonna leave this one with the wall because this is an exterior door on bomber hinges. Bomber hinges are the spring-loaded hinges. So, I mean, this door isn't going to um, open and close with gravity if it's installed out of plumb. It's gonna wanna always close from the spring. So that's a bit of a no-brainer. Next, I just need a couple of shims. Let's get this fastened behind the weather stripping again. So normally I would be countersinking, but... This cheap part-time carpenter still hasn't replaced his drill. Yeah, the brushes are dead. It's time to just buy a new drill and I still haven't done it. But thankfully, you know, we're gonna get away with that right there because of the weather stripping. Well, the windbag's job is done. So now I just press this little button right here. It releases. 
And um, the only thing I'm going to need this for later is probably to pry my butt off the couch when it's time to put my kids to bed and I just want to keep sitting there. Alright, let's get this job done. Okay, we'll put one more right here. Let's see how the reveal looks. That one broke. The screw head just broke right off. Looks pretty good up here. I'd say that's pretty perfect. This has been an easy one. You know, door installs don't always go that quickly and easily. Nice when they do though, I'll tell you that much. Now all I gotta do is get the handles on here, and then I can go home. All right, let's close that door again now that the weather stripping's in and see how it's doing. It is great. Well, that worked out super well. Let's test this, see how that works. Yeah, locking nicely, that's good. Yeah, tried it from both sides, it's working great. Um, yeah, but this, the windbag, really did make this job a lot easier. It's not an essential, you can get it done without it, but I am really grateful to have it. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hopefully you learned some things. Uh, one last tip, you guys, and this one's really important. This one's for the security of your house. Um, these couple of big screws here that come with the deadbolt set, deadbolts always come with a couple of longer screws. I'm gonna show you where you put these and why they're so important. So they go right here. Oops. Oh, I hate that they're always Phillips. And they should ideally be hitting the stud in here. Oh. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. So they are here to stop people from being able to kick in your door really easily. So that's all it is, you know? It just makes it way harder for this big hunk of metal to just be kicked out because it's actually biting into the stud behind it instead of just into this little strip of 1x4 that could easily be booted in. So yeah, it's just that extra little bit of security. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of this video. I want to say thanks for watching. If you're looking for a way to support the channel. Um, if you do buy any of those windbags off the Amazon link in the description below, I will get a small commission. My family of six appreciates that. I am one of the six in there, four kids and a wife. I also wanna say a big thanks again to the person who sent those to me like ages ago. I wanna say a big thanks to anybody who's been supporting the channel and watching the videos for a while. You guys, it means a lot to me. I hope you guys are doing okay in these days. Um, I am starting to ramble here. It is time for me to pack up my tools, close this door, head home, and be of service to my family. Thanks for watching, till the next video.